All right, well, I apologize. I've been fucking busy with work. Legitimately, like, your work is keeping me busier in a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest, and I'm dealing with my family on the backside, so it is what it is. But <clears throat> while we here, you know what I'm saying? I was looking around, seeing what's going on in the news and shit of this nature. Like, I'm trying to find safe stories that we can cover. So I found this one. Um, Trump House National Security Advisor John Bolton says they disagreed strongly on policy. Um, for those of y'all who don't know who John Bolton is, uh, John Bolton is fucking one of these dudes, right? Man, look, I don't have a picture of the guy here. It should legitimately have a picture of this dude in here on some serious shit. He has the greatest mustache ever. But mustache or not, the dude's a war hawk and a piece of garbage. He thinks going to war with Iran is a good idea. He thinks going to war in North Korea is a good idea. He thinks we should put troops on the ground in Venezuela. No, all right? No, we don't have the money for this shit anymore, all right? We just can't do un, you know, unfunded, long-term fucking ground wars in foreign countries that you know we don't fucking need, have any really need to do anything with. All right, so. President Trump announced Tuesday that he was fired. National Security Advisor John Bolton saying he str disagreed strongly with his suggestions on a range of issues. I informed John Bolton last night that his services are no longer needed at the White House, Trump tweeted. This is not... Yo, look, Trump, all right? I voted for you, okay? I'm probably going to vote for you again just because... There's nobody to fuck else to vote for. Let's be perfectly honest here. There's, there's no one else, all right? If there was anyone to fuck else, I would vote for you. I wouldn't vote for you. But, like, there isn't anybody to fuck else. Everybody else is socialist, and I'm not interested in that. All right. I disagreed strongly with many of his suggestions, as did others in the administration, and therefore I asked John for his resignation, which was given to me this morning. He continued, I thank John very much for his service, and I will be naming a new national security advisor next week. All right. Just, you can't fire people through Twitter. No. While Bolton swiftly challenged Trump's version of the event, saying he offered to resign, the two have had well-known disagreements on a range of hot-button national security issues. Perhaps most significantly on plan for a troop drawdown in Afghanistan. Mm. Bolton's removal comes after a hawkish advice after the hawkish advisor was reportedly sidelined from high level discussions about military involvement in Afghanistan after opposing diplomatic efforts in the region. So Alright. Um Americans are retarded. Um and I'll be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? Like the vast majority of y'all listen to me right now have no idea. Okay, what the fuck's going on? Because, like, nobody fucking tells us anything. And, like, all we know is what, like, fucking we, we came up with the past 18, 19, 20 years. Um, we ended up having a meeting with the Taliban. Uh, fucking to be able to stand here and, you know, make peace in, you know I mean, Afghanistan. Well, here's the thing about the Taliban. The Taliban are the Mujahideen who fucking we worked with back to fight against the Russians. And... Uh, Let's be real here. They are they are just one of many factions in the Middle East, right? And I know like we made them out to be the craziest boogeyman ever, but that's what we do to all of our enemies, all right? Whether it be the flappy-headed Canadians, you know what I'm saying, or the zipper-headed fucking Japanese, like oh, this is the this is all the nonsense that we go through, okay? Legitimately, like this is this is what we do on a regular basis as propaganda, okay? So understand, things are not what you think they are. Like yo, it just it's fucking awful and it's terrible. And I'm it, I'm gonna try and bring you the truth. That's the, kind of the whole purpose of this fucking channel. Simply put, many of Bolton's pri uh, policy priorities did not align with POTUS, a White House official told uh, Fox News on Tuesday. While Trump announced a 4,000 troop increase in 2017 as part of an effort to break the stalemate in the country, he has been moving towards agreeing to a phased withdrawal of troops. Some 14,000 U.S. troops have remained in Afghanistan, advising and insisting Afghan forces and conducting counterterrorism operations. 
Inside the administration, Bolton also advocated caution on Trump's strategy with North Korea and against Trump's decisions last year to pull U.S. troops out of Syria. Bolton also led a quiet effort inside the administration and with allies abroad to convince the U.S. to convince the president to keep U.S. forces in Syria to counter ISIS and Iranian influence in the region. Bolton became Trump's third national security advisor in April 2017, replacing H.R. McMaster, who had been appointed, appointed early in the administration, to replace Michael Flynn. He really does have bad picks. Like, also, this guy hires shit guys. Um, Trump confirms Afghanistan drawdown and works. Uh, fucking Bolton fired back Tuesday, tweeting moments after the president's announcement that he offered his readiness on Monday evening, saying it was not immediately accepted by Trump. I offered to resign last night, and Trump said, let's talk about it tomorrow, Bolton tweeted. As I said, look, we cannot run the government through Twitter, okay? Like, bad, bad Trump. Stop trying to run the government through fucking Twitter. Retarded. For fuck's sake. Bolton also told Fox News on Tuesday that he and President were discussing Afghanistan on Monday evening, and he offered to resign. Offered to resign last night, he told Fox News in a text message. There was no request for a resignation. A source also told Fox News that Bolton sent his resignation letter late Tuesday morning, after which Trump tweeted on Bolton's remo removal. Bolton, who previously served as a Fox News contributor, worked in the administrations of former presidents Ronald Reagan, Bush, George W. Bush, and served as a Bush lawyer during a 2000 Florida recount. Bolton also served as a U.S. permanent representative to the United Nations from 2005 to 2006 and as Undersecretary of State for Arms Control and International Security from 2001-2005. I think he punched a dude in the mouth at the UN or some shit. I know he wasn't a huge fan of the UN and I'm not, like none of us really are. Like It's a worthless fucking agency. Like Let's be real here. Like uh, We should really lease that bitch the fuck out and, you know I mean, use it as, like, a venue for comedy events or something. I think that would be awesome. Um, <laughs> like, yeah, this is my opinion. Uh, one source told Fox News that uh, that many in the White House learned of Bolton's firing from the president's tweet Tuesday. Of course he did, because he's running the government through Twitter. Like, <laughs> fucking retard. Prior to the president's tweets Tuesday morning, Bolton was expected to join a national security briefing with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and Secretary of Treasury Steve Mnuchin. Yeah, look, man, seriously, we cannot run the government through Twitter. Um, and I'm cool with John Bolton getting fired. I'll be real with you. I don't understand why the fuck he hired him the first time. Like the moment, moment I heard the word, the heard of name John Bolton, I was like, how does this nigga keep getting hired? Like, everybody knows this guy's a bag of shit. Everyone knows this. If you have any brains in your fucking head, you know that John Bolton is a war hawk piece of garbage. He's basically like, he's John McCain's bag man. Like, real shit. Like, yo, fuck John Bolton. All right, real shit. If we were, if we were even, even if we were at war, this motherfucker would want more war. He's like, yeah, we're at war with every country except Afghanistan. He's like, why aren't we at war in Afghanistan? Like, yo, he's one of these dudes. Like, yo, he has never met a war that he did not like. Like, yo, fuck that dude. Real shit. But, yo, it is what it is. In the meantime, man, I'm going to get the fuck off of here. And, I mean, I'm going to fucking uh, find us in our story. Cover some more shit for the day. Like, it is what it is. All right, we're going to keep moving forward. I'm going to holla at y'all later. Peace.